Hello everybody. I know it's been a while. So this is my dinner. I just made some um, taco meat. Uh, put some Munster cheese, one slice of Munster cheese over the top of it and some onions my son had cut up and some sour cream. And that's what you got. Something quick and easy. This is made with ground beef and um, some breakfast sausage I got from Whole Foods. And I just cooked it all in a pan. I seasoned it up with my Redmond's Real Salt. Um, and I also just got in some other seasonings from them. I also used the, um, what is the name of that stuff? Siete taco seasoning their taco seasonings are pretty clean they are clean um if you want to find those on ground i get mine from sprouts but i'm sure whole foods maybe should, should sell them or any store that sells the siate the siete um chips you know taco shells or whatever their seasoning is pretty clean um, I also sprinkled a, a little of the taco seasoning I got from Redmond's Real Salt and, you know, just and I put a little bit of water once it finished cooking. I drained it. So um, this is what you got right here. And I will come in with those uh, seasonings in a minute. Let me eat. Okay, I'm back. So let's get this order in business. Um welcome to the channel um, if you're new here my name is LaShawn Terry take a seat look around click that subscribe button and that notification bell when my lazy behind decide to upload again you know so we're gonna talk about these flock chicken crisps I've heard of these and even saw a video on them by serious keto and his son I believe and wondered about them but you can only get them online so you know how that goes especially when something is expensive you don't know how it's going to taste you know you just kind of pick and choose you know what you purchase okay so i went to sprouts tonight and um, they're starting to pick up on a lot of keto type stuff for lack of a better word. But um when I looked at when I went into the store they have they have this middle uh aisle that's set up but between the fruits and the the nuts and the you know weighable stuff and um they had these flock chicken skins so I said oh okay so these are the barbecue they had the plain and they had the salt and vinegar I was gonna get the plain and the salt and vinegar until I looked at the ingredients. <laughs> so I do remember Sirius Keto and his son saying the barbecue was real good. And I do love barbecue chips. Those are my favorite type of chips. His barbecue. So I turned them over and I looked at them. <clears throat> this is nutrition facts. And this is the ingredients. Now, for some people, they may, you know, I don't want natural flavor because natural flavor is a way the company can put in bad stuff. But what got me, I'm not that gun ho on natural flavors. You know, I, I still use a product if it has natural fla flavors in it as long as the rest of it is clean. But what got me was... What that say? Fried and soybean oil. Now, flock chips. You are trying to... Let's see what this thing talking about. Okay, so basically, they tell their story. You have to turn it over. But basically, they made these because they love chicken skins. And you can take these on the go for, for a mess-free um, snack. And it's made from real chicken skins. Now, I did taste it. This is one of them that I pulled out the bag. They are crunchy. The first thing I did when I opened the bag was I smelled it. And you can smell kind of like a oil smell on them. Kind of like a cheap oil smell of that. 
it's not bad, but you can smell the oil. Um, they taste pretty decent. What I can't understand is you make these, be and let's be clear, they only made these because of the carnivore and keto people. Everybody is always looking for a snack, something on the go, you know, and that's what people who do keto carnivore tend to do. Mostly keto is you're kind of like looking for something to replace what you used to eat that wasn't healthy or good for you. Um, so I'm going to say that's more so of the keto um, community. The carnivore community, we we look for stuff too. Like, you know, what can I eat that doesn't have sugar that I could eat on the go or when I'm too busy? And so the carnivore people have their things too, except the only thing is with the carnivore, it's kind of limited to, you know, if you're a strict carnivore, you just want, you know, uh, most people go for skins, jerky, you know, um, summer sausage, meat sticks, cheese, <clears throat> but mostly they're looking for like a meat that they can just grab and eat while they're driving or something like that if they don't have time to sit down for um, a meal. But my thing is, is that, let's be honest, Flock Chips made this because it's the new wave when it comes to keto and carnivore and uh, people that are looking for keto or carnivore snacks that they could kind of eat again on the go. So if you're making this to appeal to those communities, why on, a, on earth would you fry these in soybean oil? You better off using lard. Lard is very cheap. And it's a better alternative. Um, it's cheaper than uh, beef tallow or animal fats. But lard is used in the a, in a carnivore community. You know what I'm saying? And it is cheap. It's, lard is not expensive. So if you was going to use any oil, you know what I'm saying? You could have used lard or avocado oil. You know, avocado oil does not, to me, it does not have a taste to it. Um, and that's what most keto people will use is they'll use um, avocado oil and uh, extra virgin olive oil. The thing with extra virgin olive oil is it does not have a high smoke point. That's where the avocado oil comes in because you can fry with avocado oil. Of course, people that's carnivore do not use avocado oil or um extra virgin olive oil because they are from plants they are used animal fats beef tallow or lard okay so you know I, i'm not understanding why you would use soybean oil to fry these in where you can easily use lard i mean they're probably about the same price if you ask me, because lard is not expensive. Lard is cheap. If you don't have a lot of money and you're doing carnivore or you don't want to spend, because those um, animal fats and beef tallow is expensive. They're not cheap. Just use lard. That's your best bet. Um, so this bag also was $6. It's a two and a half ounce bag. This is what you got in here. And it was $6. And again, with the uh, regular, um, the regular would, did not have multidextrin in it, but the salt and vinegar did have multidextrin in it. So not only did it have multidextrin in it, it had it fried in soybean oil. So that was like a double whammy. Whereas this one do not have the multidextrin. That's why I got it. Um, it's just fried in soybean oil and who knows what they're putting under the natural flavors, what they're putting in here um, under the natural flavors. But it's not bad if you don't care about the soybean oil or the multidextrin and paying $6 for a bag of chicken skins. <laughs> give it a try. <laughs> 
Again, um, I just saw this tonight for the first time in my sprouts. Um, I'm not sure if it's something that they're going to be carrying. But other than that, I do know you have to get them online. Um, so that's that. And I might take these back and get my $6 back and be like, I don't like the way it smells. But let's go on to the next. So my favorite salt company has come out with some new salts. The organic garlic pepper is not new. They sell that all the time. I just really like it. And so um, I had ran out a while ago and just never ordered anything else from there because I can get Redmond's, the regular um, salt. You can find it in the stores here. I'm thinking everybody sells it. So there's no need for me to order online unless I'm ordering something special. So being that I was ordering these three right here, which is which is new, um, I just went on ahead and ordered two of the organic garlic pepper. But the new they have four new seasonings. I only got three because one of the seasonings is spicy and I don't do spicy. So they got the taco seasoning, the Wa Satch steak seasoning, and the Red Rock barbecue seasoning. What I like about um, Redmond's is that they use all natural organic ingredients and they don't use fillers and natural flavors and multidextrin or any of that stuff in their salts. Um, they are out of Utah, so they are American, an American-based company, and their salt has minerals in it as well, so it's not just plain old salt. Um, I did use a little bit of this in my taco mix that I had today. Here is the ingredients for that. I'm not sure what the natural flavors is in this, but I can guarantee you it's not any type of chemical or bad ingredient that they're trying to hide. I just don't know what it is. Um, no sugar, no additives, and no fillers. So this is what their garlic is, their garlic um, salt. <clears throat> This is, and I didn't taste these other two. I only tasted the taco because I used it tonight, but I didn't taste the um, these other ones. So I'm hoping that I do like them. If not, I'm pretty sure my son will use them because he uses up all my seasonings. And then this is the Red Rock Barbecue. So I cannot wait to use these. To me, this taco had a bit of a kick to it because of the chili peppers. Not too bad, but just a bit of a kick to it. Um, they are perfect for chicken, beef, fish. And what's this? I don't know what that is on the end of there. I know beef, chicken, fish. I don't know what that other, maybe vegetables. I don't know. This is for beef, chicken, that look like elk and pork, and you know, some type of elk or bison or something. It says it's a monocon peppery sweet flavors that turn a cut of meat into a mouth watering, to a mouth watering something. And then this one is better for you barbecue blend delivers a succulent flavor that is satisfy any. Q Carnosaur. So that's what you got right here. So that's what I got right here. I got two of each um, because that's all I needed. I really hope that they bring that smoked salt back in because I need a couple of bags of that Chef Blend. That was my favorite out of the salts. The smoked salts and the hickory was my second um, out of it, but the chef's blend, you could kind of put it on everything with the hickory. You only want a hickory taste on certain things like, you know, beef, maybe chicken, you know, something like that. So I really do hope that, um, they do bring back the smoked salts, salts, because if they do, I will be buying a ton of the chef's blend. 
So with that being said, um, this is all I got for right now. Hope everybody have a great rest of your week. The weekend is almost here. And um, peace. Give me that thumbs up on the way in.